I'm Stephanie Essen, and this is the new Intel Developer Zone update, where we'll be bringing you news and information from around Intel software for developers such as yourselves. Today we have some news around machine learning, new tech, tools, and events coming up. Remember to check out the description below to learn more. First off, we want to give a big shout out to the $20,000 grand prize winners for the Intel Ultimate Coder Challenge for IoT, Team IoT Vidya. Their project, Cognitive Healthcare System for Rural Areas, was scored as the unanimous winner by six judges. Team IoT Vidya's goal is to bridge the gap between remote areas and doctors, connecting those in need with proper healthcare. Great job, team. Okay, let's look at what's happening in the world of IoT. Intel's recently released Intel Joule module allows makers to scale prototypes quickly, simplify product development, and access high-end computing in a tiny form factor. It's equipped with a quad-core processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of storage. We're stoked to see what the next generation of robots, drones, and IoT devices will bring. We've all heard this buzz going on about machine learning. You can watch our schnazzy video featuring Intel fellow Pradeep Dubey as he teaches us what machine learning might mean for the future, and dispel some myths about it too. Maybe robots won't be taking over the world after all, or if they do, might be kinda cool. To get started, here are a few places to get connected with the machine learning community. First off, we have Intel's Machine Learning Developer Zone, where you can download Intel optimized frameworks and tools, and also access other resources for your machine learning needs. You can also check out the Machine Learning Glossary. This is where you can go to learn common terms in machine learning, statistics, and data mining. Lastly, the Data Mining, Machine Learning, and AI group on Facebook is for anyone with a general interest in various aspects of data mining, machine learning, human-computer interaction, and artificial intelligence. In Tools and Tech, we have the new R3 release of Graphics Performance Analyzer. Some of the new features include support for UWP applications, some cool new features for DirectX 12 support, and a unified open frame dialog for both frame analyzer applications. You can check out our tutorial video about it with Seth Schneider for more. Next in Tools and Tech, the new 2017 version of Intel Parallel Studio XE is here. It simplifies design, development, debugging, and tuning of parallel code while also boosting application performance. Also, we're proud to announce the release of Intel Media Server 2017. This release provides new processor support, new OS support, some new Intel Media SDK features, and new Intel SDK for OpenCL applications features with support for the OpenCL 2.0 API. Lastly, some events coming up, we have the 2016 Intel HPC Developer Conference, November 12th through 16th. The event will bring together developers from around the world to discuss code modernization and high-performance computing. Directly following this, we have Supercomputing 2016 going on from November 14th through 18th. This year, we are spotlighting Maria Claw, who will be presenting on diversity and inclusion in supercomputing. Follow the links below to learn more about anything we covered today, and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to learn more about what's happening in Intel software.